Welcome to Seasons Cleanings. I am Shenna, your cleaning lady, and I'm here to help you with all of your cleaning needs. So if you can see behind me, my kitchen is a little bit of a mess right now. And I did that for you so that I can show you how I do a quick clean in my kitchen. So this isn't a super deep clean, so we're gonna be missing a lot of areas. But this is a good enough clean so that I can enjoy my weekend. Now the only time that I don't do a quick clean before the weekend is if that weekend I have set to do some deep cleaning or have some projects to do and then I save the quick clean for like Sunday evening. And then that way I can start fresh on a beautiful week with a semi-clean house that is good enough for me and it should be good enough for you too because sometimes good enough is good enough. I've said that enough. All right, let's get started. I like to roll my sleeves up, put my hair up, and voila, let's go. We are going to shut all the cabinets and drawers. Why they're open, do not ask me, childhood habit. But I pick up everything and put it back where it belongs. This is always a really good place to start. You can't clean if you can't see your countertops. I like to put all the dishes in the sink, and after I'm finished picking everything up, I go to the dishes next. I will be honest, usually my house is a lot more messier than this, or at least there's a lot more dishes in the sink. I consider this phase one, which is picking everything up. And you can stop there, but we are gonna do a quick clean. So go ahead and get all of your dishes done. Sometimes I will do this the morning before I'm gonna clean in the afternoon, or the night before I'm gonna clean the next morning, just to kind of break the task in half. Or better yet, I'll have my son do the dishes. Next up, we are going to clean all the cabinets. I'm gonna do the faucet real quick, but you do wanna make sure on a faucet, you use the right side of your sponge and use the non-abrasive side. So I'm just kind of starting on the kitchen sink, but I do hit the wood because I see little spots and I had to hit it, but you don't wanna leave moisture ever on wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe that up real quick. But normally, we'll do all of the scrubbing in one motion. So here I am using Dawn dish soap and hot water to clean off all of the countertops and I will also hit the table as well. And I just go through and keep scrubbing until all of the little particles that have stuck on are loosened up and you can get all the stains off of there. When I use the table, I make sure I use the non-embrasive side so I don't scratch my wood table. You do wanna pay attention. It is a non-scratch sponge, but in my experience, that doesn't mean it is completely non-scratched. So I do use the soft side when doing the woodwork. So after I've scrubbed the countertops, scrub the table, wipe the table, I wipe all of the countertops and I lift up any of the decorations or appliances to get underneath and remove any crumbs that might be hiding underneath them. So just to go over that again, I scrub the countertops, scrub the table, wipe the table. You don't want moisture sitting on your wood table. And then I move to the dirtier spot, which would be my stove top. But before I get to the stove top, I go ahead and finish wiping down all of my cabinets. And I hit the light switch because it sees a lot of action in the kitchen. So then I kind of add just a little bit of water and I hit any of the cabinets that are mainly used for cooking that see a lot of fingerprints. So next, I'm gonna clean the stove top glass part and I use a still wool pad to do that. I use a sponge to squeegee off that. Then I take my towel that's a little damp from cleaning all the countertops and give a wipe to the top part of the stove, working my way all the way down. Usually after hitting appliances, I will use a stainless steel cleaner on them, but it's a quick clean, so I'm just wiping. This is actually very similar to how I clean after dinner. I 
probably clean my fridge handles almost every day. For some reason, they get so dirty and I really just can't stand it. So I always wipe them down because my towel's damp, so it just cleans it right up. And I don't use a stainless steel cleaner unless I'm doing a deep clean, but I just wipe around. And you definitely want to get behind the bar. See where my hand was there? That is where tons of food gets caked on. And you can feel it when you go to open the fridge. So next up, I'm going to remove the rugs and work on the floor. I can't remove my big rug just because it's underneath the furniture. So what I do when I have rugs, if I'm not moving them, is I clean the little corner over there with a little spot mop and just kind of pulling up any stains. Then I grab my vacuum and I use the hose to kind of vacuum around the areas that it can't get just flat. So I kind of do around the edges and underneath the cabinets, they stick out a little bit. Then I go ahead and vacuum the rug. Vacuuming the rug is always my favorite part. Just, I love vacuuming, pulls everything up and it just ties the cleanliness together. Now I do use a broom sometimes and I used to have a little sharp vacuum that I would run across the floor for quick cleans or in between, but it broke. So I am using my vacuum and broom. And I love a good broom sweep because I feel like I'm really good at maneuvering it and getting it into small spaces. But if you have a vacuum, you can just go ahead and vacuum the whole entire floor. Here, I'm just showing you both ways. So I could vacuum all my floor, but my vacuum's so big, it just doesn't get into those small areas like the broom does. I do like to move everything around and move the chairs out a little bit to get really underneath them. Kind of depends on my ambition for a clean house that week. So after gathering it all up, and I use either the vacuum hose or dustpan, kind of depends on what I feel like that day, but usually a vacuum hose is my favorite way. And then I'll go and give the floor a quick little mop. And I just use an all-purpose cleaner. Here I'm using a water vinegar mixture. I'll switch it up in my own house. It is tile, so I'm not too concerned. If it was wood floors, do you want to be very careful on wood floors? But I just go around and give it a quick mop. I wouldn't say this is my professional because if it was one of my clients, I would have moved all of those chairs out to mop underneath. But I just hit it one by one using my mop that is broken. So I can't extend it out and have a long one, which is not good for my back, but it's what I have to work with right now. And voila, it is nice and clean, or at least good enough for today. So next I go to vacuum all of my rugs and I just give them a quick vacuum. You can also shake them out as well, your preference. And then once they're finished, you put your rugs back after the floors dry, of course. And this is definitely my favorite part because this means I am all done. And when it rains outside or it snows outside, I have a great trick for you. That is, you grab a towel and you lay it down so everybody can wipe their shoes and stop some of the tracking. My kitchen floor is the worst, but it is what it is. Okay, Jack, you no know make mess on floor. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. I hope it either motivated you to clean or gave you just what you needed to hear that good enough is good enough so that you maybe just do a quick pickup and hit a few things and let it go. Whatever you need to do in order to make your home a little bit relaxing and inviting so you can enjoy the weekend and let your hair down and just do you. So I am super excited because now I get to go relax and edit a video. So we will see you next time on Seasons Cleans. And if you can't wait that long, don't worry. You can check us out on Instagram. We're also on Facebook, where we have a Facebook group called Get Your Clean On. And if you are really into cleaning and you want to see some cleaning videos, check out our TikTok. We're there too. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend, because I'm about to.